What's going on, everyone? It's Matt Candelaria here with the PPR, and we're here at Mission Hills High School, the home of Fred Warner and Chris Olave, for this North County Game of the Week, as the Mission Hills Grizzlies host the Lacoste Canyon Mavericks. Mission Hills comes into this ball game following a tough loss to Torrey Pines. As for Lacoste Canyon, they come in following a tough loss to El Camino last week, as both of these teams look to rebound here in this big Avocado League matchup. Let's get straight to the highlights. Mission Hills High School loves the PPR. You saw it on the marquee all last night. Shout out Mission Hills for the love. First quarter, Grizzlies trying to get in there early. Giovanni Hart tries to get down the outside, but Sergio Garcia says, give me that, and he takes it right out of his hands, and Sergio Garcia is going to be gone. He's going all the way, 95 yards. Bring out the red carpet for Sergio. This touchdown made it 7 nothing early for the Mavericks. Still in the first quarter, quarterback Troy Hoon drops back to throw and he hits Keaton Smith on the slant route and Keaton turns on the burners and he's out of there for the 76-yard touchdown. This made it a 7-6 ball game following the missed PAT. Grizzlies threatening here in the second quarter. Troy Hoon with a nice little pitch to Giovanni Hart and Giovanni's going to get the outside and he's going to get in there for the touchdown. This made it a 13-7 ball game for the Grizzlies. Still in the second quarter, right before halftime, Quinn Roth drops back to throw and he hits Sergio Garcia on a nice double move as Sergio hauls it in and he just adds on to his performance. His second touchdown in the ballgame as this made it a 13-14 ballgame right before the half. Start of the second half, Quinn Roth rolls out to throw and he hits UVA commit Trevor Ladd in the back of the end zone for the easy touchdown as the Mavericks get out to a 21-13 lead early in the third quarter. Grizzlies taking one out of Nick Sirianni in the Eagles playbook as Troy Hoon gets in there for the tush push as the Grizzlies make it a 21-19 score as the Grizzlies go for two and Hoon hits Jaden Williams easy on the two-point conversion as this made it a 21-21 ball game. Late in the fourth quarter, Troy Hoon drops back to throw and he finds a wide open Jaden Williams for the touchdown as the Grizzlies go up 28-21 with 23 seconds left on the clock. Grizzlies kicking it off to the Mavericks with 23 seconds left on the clock. And Sergio Garcia, a dangerous man with the ball in his hands. He gets loose. He breaks a couple tackles. He gets going. He's past the 50. He's breaking more tackles. He finds a seam. And he gets tackled just short of the red zone as the Mavericks have a chance to win it with less than 15 seconds left. Mavericks with five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. One chance to win it. Quinn Roth drops back. And the Grizzlies pressure is going to get there as the Grizzlies are going to walk away with the victory 28-21 to as I had the chance to speak with Jaden Williams after their big Avocado League victory. I'm here with Jaden Williams and Jaden, big performance on the night, but nothing bigger than that game-winning touchdown catch. Just talk to me about that catch and how you guys got that victory tonight. You know, we set that up. You saw I was running the hitches all game. We set that up. We just set that up for H and go and that's, that was the call. Yes, sir. Now, Jaden, you guys had a couple controversial calls go against you guys. How did you guys ultimately bounce back from those calls and get back into I want to thank Coach Hauser in the, in the locker room. He pushed us. He told us we need to fight. We need to go through this adversity, and we did. We, we got it done. I was talking to a lot of quarterback, and I just knew that tonight was going to be one of those nights. This was a really big week. We had a really good week on practice. It means a lot to us. We, we really needed this. We really, we really did need this.